Whoa! You know what? I want to be a gaming YouTuber, but I'm going to be honest, I really don't know what I'm doing. No worries, peasant. Your boy Mortimer is here to show you how to be the next big gaming YouTuber in 2021. Yeah, boys, I won't lie. I'm, uh, I'm seeing a lack of applause here. There we go. Hey, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. The pleasure is all mine. So this is how this vid's going to work. I'm going to walk you through the phases of how to create and upload a YouTube video from scratch. This will include setting up your recording software, making a thumbnail, and editing the video. Also, before we begin, it would mean a lot if you could subscribe to the channel. It's that little red button somewhere over there. It's free, and it helps me and the video out a lot. Anyway, without further ado, let's get this bread, boys. Now first, we're going to need to record our video. For this demonstration, we're going to use OBS Studio. The link to download will be in the description. So once you've downloaded OBS Studio, you'll come across this screen. Firstly, go into settings because we're going to need to change some stuff. Then select output on the side and change the output mode to advanced. Once you've done this, select the recording section and select the following. Type standard. Kill it MC standard. Recording path, select whatever folder you want your video recording to go into. Recording format, MP4. Audio track. For this tutorial, we're going to be using 1 and 2. You'll see why in a bit. Encoder. Select whatever video card your PC allows, really. For me, it's this NVIDIA one. Now, you can choose to rescale the output of your recordings. However, this can affect the overall quality of your video. So I'm going to leave it blank. Up next, we have rate control. For this, select CBR. Now, for the custom bit rate, this number you see before ye will be determined by the strength of your PC and what resolution you want to record it. Now, I'm recording at 1080p at 60 frames per second, so I'm going to select this number. However, if you're going to record at 720p, you can select a 7 to 8k bit rate, especially if you find the recording lags. I only take 720p. Then make sure your keyframe interval is on 2. Now, my preset is set to quality. However, if you do find your PC struggles with the recording, you can always select one of the below options. The same applies to your profile. Then make sure your GPU is set to 0 and max B frames is set to 2. Alrighty. Now go over to your audio and make sure your desktop audio and microphone options are the ones you are using. Then click apply. Alright, now in the bottom left you should see this scene option. Now we're going to make a new one, just for you. So click that little plus in the bottom left and name your scene. Then go over to the source section and click the little plus again, add a game capture. Then go into mode and select capture specific window and select game that you want OBS to record. Also make sure you have actually opened the game. Don't be an idiot like me. Once you've done this, go ahead and slam that record button after you've liked the video, of course. <laughs> have our tasty video recorded we're gonna need to make a thumbnail now i've already made a quick and easy photoshop <laughs> now i've already made a quick and easy photoshop thumbnail tutorial on the channel the link will be in the description just make sure you have a main focus of the thumbnail and that it gives the viewer an insight into what the video is about two thousand years later all right now that we have our thumbnail sorted we can move on to editing our video then we're pretty much done we are skanking the rave wrong with coke no champs in the rave Alright, welcome to Premiere Pro. This is where we're going to edit our beautiful video. If you don't yet have Premiere Pro or Photoshop, by the way, you can check out the Creative Cloud link in the description. Plus, it helps me and the channel out. Alright, so first things first, select New Project on the side of the screen and then name it. Once you have done this, you should come across a blank screen. Next, drag in your recorded video in the assembly section and then drag it onto the timeline. Now, I imagine if you clicked on this video, then you're going to be quite new to this sort of stuff. So I'm going to go through the basics. If you're looking for a more advanced hype, basic boneless editing tutorials feel free to check them out on the channel so to start you're going to need to cut down your video to the juicy good bits so press space to play and pause your video when you find a part that you want in the video press c to bring out the rich and then left click on the areas you want to cut once you've done that. Once you've done that, press V to go back to normal. If you find the video is quite large, you can speed it up by pressing L. You can also mark bits you want to cut by pressing M, which adds a marker to the top of your timeline. Also, this is arguably the most important step. Always make sure you press Ctrl and S every now and then so that you save the video. The last thing you want is Premiere crashing on you. Nah! 
Once you have all your clips all chopped up, now you may be wanting to add your music or sound effects to your video, and your boy is here to help. Now to get music and sound effects, all you have to do is copy the link straight off YouTube and paste it into a video or MP3 converter. Personally, I use 4K Video Downloader, the link is also in the description. We also have an editing resources chat in our Discord server, where you can download sound effects and music. I would love to say hi to you at some point in there, the link to the Discord is in the description. Alright, now that you have your video edited, you're going to want to render and export it so that you can upload it to YouTube. To do this, go to File in the top left and click on Export and then Export Media. Firstly, change your output name to whatever you want the video to be called. Once you've done this, make sure your format is on H.264 and then go to Video and change your resolution to the same one you used for your OBS recording. Then click Export. Now let's upload this bad boy. Alrighty, now that we have our video and our thumbnail exported, we're going to need to upload it to YouTube. So firstly, open YouTube and click on create symbol in the top and then select upload video. Then drag in your video. Now once you've done this, you need to name your video and your description and upload the thumbnail that we made before. Here's where you can also add tags to your video, which essentially makes your video easier to search. Don't forget to also add your video to any playlist that you want. Then make sure your video is public and hit publish. And then there we go. You've just uploaded an absolute banger of a video. I hope you learned something from this video. And I apologize if you spent most of it searching around in the description. Anyway, have a good day, peeps. Where are you? We are skanking the rave. Run with folk, no champs in the rave. Crowd go mad with the baseline drops. It's a vibes in ting, no skanking the rave. We are skanking the rave.